In this video, we briefly explain the settings, system tiles, and other helpful information to understand and start using the Boring Toolbox's local dashboard. All right, so this is our local dashboard. And again, I call it local because it's for this specific management server. Um, so as you pop in uh, different tabs, uh, each one of them will be for your, uh, will present a local dashboard for that specific management server. Manage the, the local dashboard is broken up into three sections. You have our uh, management server at the top, uh, system overview charts in the middle, and system tiles uh, down at the bottom. I'll just go through these system tiles real quick for you. So um, you will see at the top of each of these um, little drop downs that allow you to change kind of what the dashboard looks like. Uh, you can do this obviously every time you log in, but I will call out that you do have a My Settings up here. Uh, and in the My Settings, you can actually set what the defaults you want to be. Uh, you can set the defaults you want them to be at. Uh, so that way um, you don't have to change them every single time. So that's what the My Settings is for. And then you'll also note that we do have a camera not providing th threshold here, which is different from your managed sites. And I'll talk about that when we get over to this live. All right, so under camera storage, essentially what we're looking at here is the top consumers of video storage. Um, we look at the top 10 to top 50 uh, across the entire system or you know, drilled down into specific reporting servers. Um, we filter out all the noise. We just select only the enabled, but if you wanted to add noise back in, you can uncheck this, highly not recommended. Um, by default, we go um, greatest consumers at the top and then you know, in the de descending order you can flip that around and look at an ascending order. Um, if we look at an ascending order, the value of this is you actually see those cameras which are enabled. So presumably they should be recording some video, um, but this shows you the cameras which are consuming the least amount. So in this case, these particular cameras are not recording anything. And so clearly I have a problem with these particular cameras. So if I didn't see them here under live monitoring, then I would know about them here as well. Um, another option is they could be online and providing video, but they're not set up correctly to record potentially. So this will be a call out for you here as well. Um, all of these are hot linkable. If you didn't know, we can click there. It'll link us to the camera itself. Uh, here you can provide, you can perform those bulk actions, which we'll talk about. And we also have a detailed view up here, which we'll talk about later, which will provide you um, information about that camera, ability to log straight into that camera, and also the video stream. Um, that way you can catch any little spiders running across the lens or see that giant tree swinging in the, in the wind that is causing all that motion detection to happen. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, contact us at support at theboringlab.com. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more tips and tools for getting the most out of your Milestone X Protect VMS using the Boring Toolbox, hit subscribe.